Uh, if I were President of the United States today, what I would do is draw 40 to 50,000 troops out of Iraq immediately, out of the north and the south. I would continue to draw, draw combat troops out of Iraq over the course of about the next 10 months. I would get the Sunni and the Shia leadership engaged in serious discussions to see if they can reach some kind of political solution, political reconciliation, because without that there's never going to be uh, peace in Iraq. And I would engage every other country in the region, and specifically the Iranians and the Syrians, into helping stabilize Iraq. They have no interest in stabilizing Iraq as long as America is an occupying force there. But as America makes clear we're leaving and we're pulling combat troops out of Iraq, then the Iranians, for example. The last thing they want is a million refugees coming across their border. They don't want to see a broader Middle East conflict between Shia and Sunni because they're a Shia country and a Sunni-dominated Muslim world. So they have an incentive to stabilize Iraq once America is not occupying Iraq. Senator Clinton, I, w I don't want to put words in her mouth because she was very nuanced about it, but she's talked about leaving a residual force of some kind, not like the Korean model of a major American constabulary force of 30,000, 40,000, whatever troops, like we have in Korea since 53, since armistice there. But she wants to keep some U.S. troops in Iraq for the long haul to fight al-Qaeda and to keep Iran's hands off the situation. Where are you on that? Uh, here's, here's what I'd do. As, as America pulls its combat troops out of Iraq, we're going to have to maintain a presence in the region, which means we probably need a rapid deployment force in Kuwait. If the Jordanians would allow us to, to station troops there, we may want to put some troops in Jordan. Uh, we're going to have to fortify our position in uh, Afghanistan because things are going very badly in Afghanistan. Taliban's reemerging. Uh, the heroin trade is way up. We need a naval presence uh, in the Persian Gulf. And if we maintain our embassy in Baghdad, which I think we should do, uh, we're going to have to have some troops there to, to protect the embassy.